we have our reporter Brenda Kerubo who is uh, camping at the Ministry of Transport. She shall be joining us shortly. We already have our own location and we'll be looking at the policy issues around this directive that did see the government backtrack on its own words. And of course Brenda will be telling us more about uh, for instance, how will the car free days really take shape or not? She shall be having some interesting conversations around that when we come back with her. But for now, we just want to also educate you a bit on what is the bus rapid transit system. Well, the bus rapid transit system was, first of all, one of the key areas that the government was considering when it comes to ensuring that uh, they decongest the city actually from choking, uh, choking traffic to be precise. And the principal secretary, that is Charles Hinga, uh, did lead a team to the South Africa on a mission to follow up on plans to acquire the bus rapid transit buses. And this is expected in the country from any time now. Well, of course, questions continue to linger in, re in relation to implementation of the transit system in Nairobi. And it will be touching on five corridors that have been identified, which cover Thika Road, that has a dedicated lane for the BRT buses, and which has been clearly marked. So that's just a quick snippet of what this BRT business means. And of course, it is envisioned towards easing public transport. And really, how will Kenya fit in into this conversation. But let's now walk you through some of the key routes that this bus rapid transit system will be covering. Shortly on your screens, we shall be taking you through the map. This is the schematic that will be taking us through this matter. Well, the BRT is, is bus-based public transport system that is basically designed to improve capacity and reliability. Well, the BRT system includes roadways that are dedicated to buses and gives priority to buses at intersections where buses may interact with other traffic. BRT aims to combine the capacity and speed of a metro with the flexibility, lower cost and simplicity of the bus system. Well, uh, so the following pictures that you're seeing, these are some of the areas that the BRT will be taking. The first corridor is also known as, actually the corridor will be known as Simba, which runs from the Bombers of Kenya to Ruiru on Thika Road. And it will have a dedicated lane along Langata Road, Mombasa Road, as you can see there, and University Way, which will be joining at the Muranga Road intersection. And finally, the BRT will also be covering the following corridors as well. That is the Tembo Line that captures Kangemi Imara, and of course, uh, it also captures the Chui Njiru showground, which will be critical in terms of servicing the commuter transport system in the country. Now, for this system to work, the government is banking on getting goodwill from the private sector. And of course, uh, one of the key conversations that will be defining how this issue happens is how will the Matatu operators handle this? Well, the introduction of the BRT system will inadvertently affect the Matatu sector. Passengers will have more options when it comes to the means they can use to get around. Kitty's Malika Kazia now seeks to find out what Matatu operators and passengers have to say about the BRT. Over to you, Malika. Indeed, we are coming to you from the Tirum stage right now where we want to talk to some of the Matatu operators and find out what they think about the BRT system that the government wants to implement in this particular country, of course. And we have seen that over a million people are employed in the transport sector. And many have said that the incoming of the BRT may not be the best for the Matatus and for the revenues that they currently make. It will not be possible for them to sustain these with this new system coming into place. So we want to right now talk to some of these operators and find out exactly what they think about the BRT. Since they want to do, it's a good. 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 It's a
Tunasikia sasa zikikuja hizo magari zetu wazita kwa zinafika Nairobi zinaingia Nairobi. Sasa mimi naona wacha tu tukae tu vile tuko. Sioni kama zitakuja kusaidia. Eh. Yeah. Sasa sasa shida yenye shida yenye iko sasa ndio unasikia zikikuja sasa tutakuwa tunaingia CBD. Sasa unajua sasa hata customer yetu bado tunawahurumia juu hatujui kama watakuwa na wale wanawalipia hiyo pesa ama itakuwaje. Ile itakuwa better ni ile ya matatu ya ya basi ndio because the congestion ile unaweza kuona unaenda job maybe outside of the town na umetoka maybe umetoka outside of the umetoka nje ya town sasa so, unakuja kuingia town unapata jam iko congestion iko zaidi sote so, afadhali kuwa na basi inabeba watu inabeba wengi na iko drop wale wengine wanabaki ikitakuwa ikienda hivyo itakuwa ni afadhali jam itakuwa ime reduce alafu hao wengine wako kibaki nje tunaendelea hivyo lakini sasa itakuwa itabidi cost ya basi ya mini bus drop ilo kujo lipia this bus the BRT system i think is better cuz the bus has a higher carrying capacity than the normal buses cuz they carry more than 80 passengers so i think it will help in decongesting the town and another disadvantage of BRT is that it has specific pick, pick up and drop points meaning out in the town nayo so in the disadvantage iko nayo Tell us what you think about the new BRT system that the government wants to implement. What do you think about it? Itakuwa poa au Mi venye naona hizo basi ni kama zitakuwa poa juu. Kama ni fare kutoka Dhaka kwenda na Tao itakuwa the same unawekwa ngara tena unalipa kutoka ngara kwenda Tao tena unatoa pesa nyingine. Alafu kuna venye wajui road, mtu wajui barabara ama wakora. Sinaona hiyo itakuwa ni noma na kuna wengine wagonjwa naona kutembea kutoka pale ngara kwenda tao watu watakuwa naumia sana so mimi naona serikali inafaa tu ituachie hizi tu basi zetu hatutaki hizo zao kabisa tunataka hizi matatu zetu zenye zinatuokolea hizi ni za mkulima mdogo eh? sisi ni wanabiashara wadogo wadogo masoko wanataka kuharibu kumfinyilia maskini kabisa lakini si vizuri to talk to one of the matatu drivers here to tell us what he thinks about the BRT system itakuwa ime affect sana juu kasi iko na watu wengi sana hii kasi ya 14 sita iko na watu wengi sana na basi ni gari kidogo sana kuliko hata Nissan kwa hivyo kusema gari za matatu sio ndio kwa barabara hiyo ni sida kubwa sana juu sisi sisi sasa kama mimi ndeleva mimi nitaenda wapi sina mtu ambaye anaweza nipatia hiyo basi kwa hivyo ni jobu serikali waasa ituendelee na kasi na tunajua sisi sisi ndio tuliwasagua na tukapatia kula setu kwa 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 furaha. Sasa sasa hivi wamefika mahali wametufinyilia. Kwa hivyo tukiomba mheshimiwa uhuru uhuru mwili wa Kenyatta atusaidie kuhusu haa mambo. Sisi fanya kazi. Kwa sababu kwa mfano kama Athika Road kama sisi tunabeba Athika. Sisi ndio tunaenda tunabeba Athika. Na kutoka hapa hakuna vile vile ni vigumu sana kubeba watu wa Athika direct unless kutoka town. Sasa hiyo bia tu wakati mmewekwa ikuwa ati ni a direct na watu wa barabara watu wa barabarani kama hapa watakuwa kisabiwa na nini kwa hivyo tunasema kama serikali inaleta ndio ni vizuri wakijaribu kwa sababu pia tunataka efficiency ya abiria na maybe hata wakizileta watatuandika sisi wenyewe kazi but ni vizuri serikali ikuje hapa chini kwetu tujadiliane na wao wakati tulikuwa tunachagua hii serikali walisema wata create job kwa vijana ah na tuko na matatu na wakati mimi ndivyo nilikuwa nimeomba serikali yetu tukufu wacha na hizi BRT kwa sababu hata zikikuja watapea uh, NYS ambao ni vijana wanapata msaada kwa serikali vijana wengi wako jobless so nikiomba uh, serikali yetu tukufu iwache kuleta hizi vitu iache tufanye tu hivyo watu binafsi waweze kujinunulia magari waweze kukiliti kazi kwa vijana kwa sababu wanakuja kumaliza kazi ya barabara kuleta hizi magari ni kuonyesha hii serikali inaongeaka kinyume kwa nini because walisema watakiliti job sasa wamekuja kutoa kwa barabara kwa nini wanafanya hivyo? Kama sisi Kenya mpya tuna magari mengi sana, tunakosa watu. Analete za kazi gani? Tunaomba BRT waachane nazo. Waache si tuendelee vile tunaendeleaanga. Unaona? Kama ni maneno ya Jam Town, waafukuza magari dogo ni mingi kuliko matatu. Kwa hivyo waache waache tuingie town. Well as you've heard a lot of the matatu operators are saying that this is not a system that they think
think is going to benefit them and is going to make sense for what they have assumed that the government is trying to do for them, which like we've heard, to create jobs for the youth, to increase the capacity and to make sure that they have a way of earning a living. Well, we'll see how the BRT system implementation goes, but for now, this is what we have heard from this particular side of Matatu operators and what they have to say. Malika Kazia, KTN News. Very heated discussions there from the various operators on the BRT system. And like I mentioned, we shall be crossing over live to the Ministry of Transport where our, our colleague, that is Brenda Karubo, is standing by and we shall be engaging with her shortly after this quick commercial break. And of course, Brenda will be giving us the policy side of it. How does Kenya manage to achieve this? Is it practical in the first place? We shall be crossing over to her in just a very few minutes from now. Keep it locked. For now, we proceed on that quick commercial break.